Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Alakazam Alakazam he doing? Alakazam. Oh, he's playing yeah. Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. Yeah. Ah, there's nothing like a good day to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do! Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird! But you're a bird disguised as a bird! When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous! You don't know what's down there! Fine! What are you guys doing? Watching, Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You can get hurt! Or worse, really hurt. What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't <laughs> need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Alakazam, Alakazir. Whoa. Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh. <laughs> You don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> 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 which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? <gasps> well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do, make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. Elf! <laughs> Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're going to have the best day ever. We got a rescuer. Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming back? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's got to stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless. We're so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys. No time to sleep. We're coming for you, Eugenie. <laughs> she can't. They're tossing her around. Yo, my baby sister's in danger. She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly. Well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny. You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers. Oh, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, 
so cute. Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Hugh Genie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody oh, in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. <laughs> what do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates. Arr, Eugenie. Let's dig for treasure. Arr. Huh? Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh no! Is she yeah. in a tree? <gasps> you need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury, because that's crazy talk! That's the last straw! We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. <laughs> Shh! Hey, Bush! Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're gonna blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yay! Welcome to show and tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? No one move. He has a family. <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is a... Uh, the Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> now we're we gonna get Eugenie now! Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. We have to get to Alfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Alfie made it. I was worried sick about you. And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my baby. <gasps> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. <laughs> Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. 
we'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. <laughs> You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> 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 Oh man, that's not fair! Look what you did! You ruined show and tell! Turn those bushes back! I'm sorry, but I don't know how! Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop! Magic, make those bushes stop! It was awesome! The bushes were like poof! And the kids were like, ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazee. Magic, help me move that tree. Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive. It really is magic. That's it. Here we are. <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Uh, Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Uh, Who is it? Oh, food! Yeah. Ah! Food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> It's the vet. Uh, the, the vet? vet? 
Phew! Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Uh, Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> 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 Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, a couple of hours, I think. Or was it a few minutes? Well, one of those. And guess what? If he comes, he's checking all of us. <clears throat> we got to keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean... He could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. <gasps> or find our zippers? <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. This patient needs a cold cloth. Water! 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 Hmm. This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. Ouch! Oops. So cold! The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Well, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? <laughs> Good job, guys. High fives <laughs> all around. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh, no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick. You'll get a fever. No, we can't get our food now. Uh, hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. What to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. Stop! Great! I bet that'll clear her up. <laughs> Guys, I know it seems risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti-flu ritual. Well, Washington, we can't. What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told? 
told me the vet was coming. I can't do the thermometer. Huh? Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Mm. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <laughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm, right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. Wow, you are sickly. <laughs> So sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Oh. Uh, ah! Yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew. Just give it one of these every four hours. <laughs> ew, gross, ew. Forget my dog. Great vet coming all the way out here? That's a professional at work. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, I mean, cha, just look at hi, Washington. Cha, hi, He's better hi, cha, already. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, chu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti flu ritual works every time. <laughs> 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 Most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bloop, bloop. Well, they say, let sleeping dogs lie. And our next dog, a sleeping sheep dog, did just that, as his owner found out when he taped his furry friend before he went to work. <laughs> Hilarious! Hey, we could do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh, no. When I left, he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. Hmm. I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm. You might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. <coughs> Here. Perfect. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, Furbags. That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy.
<laughs> Everyone just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Goes clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. If I must, I must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! What I do? Yeah. Ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. <laughs> Naked. What? What's going to happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on. Trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit.
our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. This is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly! <laughs> uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here! <laughs> oh no! Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. No. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. Ah, Washington! It's me! Hello, me? Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Phew! 
Nobody saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap. Because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything. Like how Washington drives me wild. Flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Huh? It better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. Oh. You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. <laughs> Wait! Hey? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. Of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget, this has to remain just between us. A secret, our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No, oh, uh, okay, yeah, cool. A friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. Oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's gonna tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't wanna leave TV. Hey Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it, they'll get all freaked out. Washington, <laughs> you coming? <sighs> 
gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, 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 oh diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <laughs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <laughs> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, no! No! No, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you! Waving to her! At least she thought you were waving to her. Phew! Washington, you huh? coming? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget, it's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. 
but also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. <laughs> oh, Washington, you drive me wild. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <laughs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash? Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you because it is not fun for me? Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're yeah. in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. Good Good Let's right. all go together.
Um. Guess I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors. Like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington! <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? <laughs> wow. What the? This ottoman can use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. Hey! <laughs> not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. This is a mess. Is that a bone? Sam, what are you eating? No, no, it would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No way, it's too tight. I need bathroom. 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 Stop! You can't fit in there. No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain. You've gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! Oh. <coughs> you know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great, you can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? <laughs> no, that can't be right. <laughs> How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all.
for you, for you. <laughs> Can a dog have some privacy? <laughs> Take a hike! No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this. I can't do this to food. No, oh, how can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice. I can't hold it anymore. Wash. Washington? But what are you doing, boy? Just look at that. That's amazing. This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. Ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. What? Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Get Minnie! He's almost uh, here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid male! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for shots! Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No! no. Oh. Uh. Cool. For my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Who oh, knew it was us? I mean you! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. 
Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this, I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh. Really? Yep. Otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie. Where do we get some? In his office. Uh -huh. <gasps> Great. Point the way. It's at the corner by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. Ah, that little adventure should take all day. Ah. Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, on Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with. And don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! Hello, Moldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Hmm. Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse? That bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Hey, Big Kitty's gonna be sick. <laughs> What's going on here? 
that's all for a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. And that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course, in my vet desk. to be sedated right now. are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Signed, the vet. Yay, Yay Washington! Envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <coughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Cheap trick, Bush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my doses all the time. Oh! <laughs> Finally, a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yay, summer vacation! My favorite time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the sunscreen! <laughs> What's up, Vic? Oh, don't you know? It's summer vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Mm, relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ooh, an all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going to, right? Of course. You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? Mm -hmm. I never travel without it. Honey, 
Hey, look! The pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel! That's right! The vet said to arrive by noon. The k k k k kennel The vet? The Livingstones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets! It is for <gasps> pets! The elves are leaving us there! That could be... fun? Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is <gasps> his! We were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, mm. scratched, massaged. We mm. can't get groomed. They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait. What about the all you can eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go. <gasps> oh. oh. What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Huh? <laughs> ah, Mrs. Livingstone! I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment, but you can just drop off these first time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week! Have a great vacation! Come on, guys! Hurry up! <laughs> the doctor will be right in! We gotta think of something! If he gives us an exam, we're goners! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sa That looks scary, huh? news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. Backyard! 
get our suits, quick! Okay! Hello, animal control. The wild animals? On your street? Hold on a sec. I know just the man to handle this situation. Uh, hello. Terrible that here. Hey, buddy. We spotted those wild animals over by the Livingstone's house, and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad. Get it. It's your only chance. <laughs> Darn. It's all over. The old chap is too scared. Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <gasps> oh, duty is calling, Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, Silly Susie! Oh, sorry. I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they've got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Freeze! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Lush. I remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... <laughs> And not a minute too soon. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, what's going on? came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> the suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage. You must be kidding. It was our very last chance. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> hey. It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Oh, you said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too! I'm so glad our kennel could bring you closer together! I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch! Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey? Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly! What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. 
So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Ah, oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? It's marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, huh? Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh. That's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls! <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam, you're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costume? <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no! How can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Hmm? There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's got so uncomfortable, I can't wait! Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot! Oh, now, isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears.
Bowers. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer. Because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah. They went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <laughs> <sighs> Boy, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. <laughs> Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? <laughs> you seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. to go back to the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. to catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? <laughs> this time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I can't take any more of this. Get these costumes off, quick! 
little stained. Uh, who cares? You're the best costume ever. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. Yeah. Good morning, Birdie. Good morning, little bunny rabbit. Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. <laughs> Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, oh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right, then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like like that. Huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! <laughs> arf, arf. Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! Arf! <laughs> arf! 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 arf. Uh... Wait! Sam is you? It's an opposite day already? No, not for another two months. But yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh no, game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. Ha! 
<laughs> Say, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. Hmm. Nice game, uh. boy. I know what Washington said. He said so many things. True, but it would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash, now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're going to have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange. <laughs> Weird. Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. <laughs> oh my Washington! Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I met the dog folk. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, <laughs> guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? Oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh, don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the L's to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time. Fetch a ball, go on a walk. Cats don't do that. Well, I do, and I can't go another day cleaning you. Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is, and we'll want to switch back. Easy. That's your big plan. It's all I got. Here's what I'm gonna do. You guys are on set, which means you're gonna find out. That's my wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. 
Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best. The best. <laughs> oh no, Sam! The girls are in danger. You gotta save them. <clears throat> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! Mm -hmm. I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Us cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry, they need you. Better. A little stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bath in the morning. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hmm. Can we play? For the seventh time, no! For the seventh time, why not? You're, you're too little. Now, shh! For once, oh. he's right. Shh! Hello! Hello. We're, We're home! home. <laughs> Wash? Sam? You know, those two are becoming real slugs. They don't even get up anymore when we come home. What they need is some exercise, but not with me. What do you say we hire a dog walker? A what? A dog walker. A babysitter for dogs. But instead of sitting, you walk. Nowadays, they take cats, too. How modern. The walker could take them out when we're at work. Or when we're watching TV. Did you hear that, boys? You're getting your very own walker. Yay! Awesome! You have no idea what that is, do you? It's cool. I know that much. Maybe it's a kibble detector. <laughs> or a fried chicken dispenser. <laughs> Close. It's... A car for extra smart pets like you. Your own car? <laughs> Look at them. I think they know their new walker is coming. <laughs> Washington and Sam, meet your fantastic professionals. Gracie and Alfie. Gracie and Alfie? Are they your drivers? We're going to take you two on a nice long walk. <laughs> very funny, Vic. See you later, Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone. We'll be very professional. Sit. Good. Sit. Remember, Alf, we're 
are not allowed to cross the street. When you come to a corner, what do you do? Turn right. Isn't that the same house? us in this hole. wondering myself what those little brats did all this time. I'll bet you a bajillion cookies the kids have gone home. So long, guys. See you soon. It's almost six o'clock. Where are my Gracie and Alfie? Oh! Oh! Hey, Wash, do you have this bajillion cookies on you? We'll find the children. They can't have gone far. This is only the fourth largest city in the country. You two, inside. Heard you lost the kids. Way to go. Ooh, ooh. That's some big time trouble wash. Yeah, everyone seems pretty upset. Uh, yeah, kids are like super precious to adults and stuff. Sam, we gotta find those kids before the adults do. But Mrs. L says... And your super snout will do the job. <laughs> Hmm. 
the path ends right here. Where could they have gone? There, oh. on the ground. Mitch, he must have smelled the cookies and grabbed the kids. Oh no, that explains why they didn't come home. Mitch ate them. Not necessarily. Hopefully he still has cookies. But Sam, we gotta unzip. What? We're gonna rescue those kids. We gotta go in deep. And we can't risk our wild friends seeing Doggy and Kitty. Too dangerous. They'll try to eat us for dinner. We look delicious. <laughs> hey there, Wash. I'd offer you some cookies, but I ate them all. No problem, Mitch. We'll go get some. Sam, now would be a very good time to go home and get Mitch some more cookies. But how do I... Sam, yeah. now! Lots of cookies coming up. Hey, let's all play a game while we wait. Mmm, like what? How about hide and seek? We learned it in the city, but it's super simple. You go and hide in the forest and I'll try and find you. If I don't, then you win. Oh, I'm good at hiding. I'm gonna win. And for the prize, more cookies! Deal! <laughs> You'll never find me! And now, the kids. <coughs> What's up? One minute they're running after us, the other minute they're running away. Kids! Ah, my costume! Nice move! <laughs> wow, they're hard! These cookies are weird! They're diet cookies. They're made with wood flour. You can build a house with that. <laughs> Sam, you're naked! Duh, I know! Listen, Mitch has the kids. Mitch wants cookies. You get cookies to Mitch, you hear me? Easy! Oh, 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 wolf, oh, 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 oh. Washington, oh. I'd know that weird bark anywhere. Oh. How did you find me so fast? Washington! Oh. Gracie and Alfie? Mmm, -hmm. they're sweet, and I'm hungry. Gracie and Alfie, Blech. don't you want cookies? Hey, where are my cookies? Washington! Oh. <laughs> Sam, wash! Oh, and there was a big bear, too, who loved our cookies. Of course he did. Oh, where are they? They must be hiding. This time, I'm gonna win for sure. <laughs> what the? Oh! Ah! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Thanks, bye! It's finally here! My dream blankets! Uh -huh. <sighs> it's incredibly soft! What is that? Ah, fantastic, honey! Oh, so soft, like an angel's embrace! Don't get too comfortable. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. Wow! Oh, that is so soft. Wow, that was... Amazing. Found it! Ready? Oh, dream blanket.
blanket. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <sighs> Oh, all right. Let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go. Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it! <laughs> now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. Ooh. How was it? How was it? Uh, well, I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. <laughs> Pet Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! So soft! Yeah. You're the best, Sam! So handsome! A real charmer! Handsome fit! You're even better than a real Sam, you are smarter than all of us and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. We love you so much, Sam. Because of you. We're the happiest humans in the whole world! Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever! And once and for all, stay away from that blanket! Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. <sighs> Look, there it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it.
going on? You two, make up and be friends again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft, can it? Ooh, ooh, oh yes, that is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world! I admit it, you're way cooler than me! We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington! Or should I say, man's best friend! <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want! <laughs> you're a good dog, Washington! Good dog, good dog, good dog. Hmm? Ah! I had it first and you took it away from me mid-dream. And it was an awesome dream too. It's mine, I want it. I didn't get to have a real nap. Come on, give it. I know what you were trying to do. You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping. How rude, some friends you are. What's gotten into you guys? You are a cheap bed hog. That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot. That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills. Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar. What? How rude! This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Move it, Fed Fox! Oh no! The Living Stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? didn't like it. Uh, oh. You can choose the new one. Okay. And no one will sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart-pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! 
<laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See Washington? Like this. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh... What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. <laughs> I've seen it on TV. <laughs> You're so on it. You're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! Uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. <laughs> well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? Really? Of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. This is an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far, lots of cows. We'll probably never see you again. What? If only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah, something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. We barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. <laughs> this is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we wag. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you bag. Hmm. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no! Not up and down! That's not a wag! Right and left! Right and left! Right and left! Well, I'm a 
afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! Oh. I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> Just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Mm -hmm. uh, hi. <laughs> huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. <laughs> Washington is uh -huh. wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor. What's wrong with him? Oh, ah, now look what you've done. This is all your fault. <gasps> the vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam. It's a cat toy filled with catnip. It's for cats. Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. Look what we found! <laughs> What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Wash is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <gasps> don't care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? 
<laughs> Hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. <laughs> See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Ah, 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 ah. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys. I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You. Nope, nope. I double dare you. If you don't accept, you must obey my every other command for a week. Oh, ouch. Sorry, I didn't make the rules. Fine. <laughs> You're so talented at belly dancing. <laughs> 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 Okay, I dare you to uh -huh. act like a crazy monkey running through the house. No, <laughs> that's outrageous. I won't do it. Okay, fine. Then I double dare you. No, still not going to Too happen. Too bad for you because I triple dog dare you. No way out. <gasps> a triple dog dare? A triple dog dare is infamous for the sole reason that you cannot back down from it. A triple dog dare must be carried out. What an excellent game! Yeah, and fun too. When do we start, dummies? Uh oh. We've lost track of time. We've got to get some work done. Aw, come on. <laughs> One more round? I mean... I triple dog dare you. No way out. <sighs> so many emails. <laughs> I dare you to... <laughs> Tie rope across the yard. Sam? <laughs> I dare you to... stuff you just did. Kidsville, if you ask me. I mean, if you want to do something truly daring, I've got something really good for you. Okay, I dare you to sneak up on Fluffy and Nugget and pull their tail. Fun is fun, but I don't... I double dare you, which means if you don't accept, you have to obey my every other command for a week. We accept! We? Did 
you do it. Uh -huh. It was awesome. Yeah, you're right. That was way more daring. Oh, what a rush. Another dare, another dare. Well, if you insist, I double dare you too. Hmm, those shoes look really comfortable. Hmm. Aw, Sammy, who's a good cat? <laughs> Yes, you are my Sammy. <laughs> huh? Oh, darn computer! I double dare you to scare the rat pack in the alley. <laughs> I double dare you to Wow, aren't you cute? Thank you, ladies. I double dare you to <laughs> of danger. I double dare you too. <laughs> oh man, we can't keep up. Sadness. <laughs> double rush. I don't know. That wasn't so fun. Yeah, we couldn't do a single one of those dares. Yeah, I dare you to unzip out of your costumes and mime behind that cop out there. We could get caught. And then it's back to the woods for us. Forget it. This one's too dangerous. Yep. I knew you weren't tough enough. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to double dare you. Washington? Nope. Nuh-uh. Not gonna do it. Oh. Hmm. I... Don't do it! Triple dog dare you. A triple dog dare is infamous for the sole reason that you cannot back down from it. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Let's do it. This we can do. Thank goodness we watch Monday Night Mimes. <laughs> Tell you look like that movie star Rick Rocket? <laughs> I get that all the time, but I'm actually a little taller than you. Really? I mean, the resemblance is just uncanny. <laughs> I noticed it just as soon as I stopped you. <laughs> Although I might be able to let you walk with just an autograph. <laughs> what a rush. creatures doing out here. I better get you two back to the woods. Oh no. Oh no. I never thought this is getting way out of control. Watch your speed, Rick Rocket. And thanks for the autograph. Oh no. What do we do? Uh, uh, uh. Honey, what if those wild animals have taken our pets? Uh -huh. Maybe we ought to call animal control. Vic, you gotta stop her from making that call. If you don't, we'll have animal control all over the place. It'll be a nightmare. We can still fix this. You can fix this. Vic, I triple dog dare you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
Victoria, that's not a toy. Victoria, that's not a toy. Victoria, give me my... <laughs> Get back to the house. What's gotten into you? <laughs> wow, you're back. Let's make some treats to celebrate. <laughs> With a rhubarb pie? Victoria! Rhubarb! No! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. Yeah, triple dog dares to never dare again. Oh, yes, I triple cat accept. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I'm going to get you! The monster! He's after us! And when I do... Huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> when I do, I will... I will... Mm, <laughs> cook you on my monster barbecue and eat you all up! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm hungry! Well, 
Well, that takes care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it! Look, guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no, I'm telling you I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> oh. Washington, did you do this? Oh, that was my grandmother's face. Oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. Oh. Aw, oh, okay, Wash. Well. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I could handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really <laughs> should <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once! <laughs> Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> What's with Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they already took the blame for us last time with the vase. They're going to think he did this too. <laughs> <laughs> to fix this! Ah! We 
Alright, I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. <laughs> well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. Mrs. L's statue, the one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? <clears throat> yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. It's my turn! Go! Not bad, huh? I like the way it looks as though he's playing in a sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait! What are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! <laughs> well, thanks guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay! Uh, some wings? Uh, no head? Uh, a bit like this? <gasps> Look, hon! They love my sculpture! <laughs> it almost looks like they're worshipping it! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It looks even better than I remember! Oh. Huh? Still here? I thought I'd broken it. <gasps> Oops. Oh, Victoria! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. <laughs> oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Ah! Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? 
what, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe, well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <laughs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for <laughs> Gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the ten billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here. Lean on me. No! Everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no, Wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Watch out, girls! <laughs> Watch and learn! Was a cub. Our idea of going for a walk was a 20 mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa, we Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great great grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You've told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean... An old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. 
Any other suggestions? Oh, no? oh, I got it! Lock them in a closet forever? This is gonna be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we can use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get those decorative teaspoons. Kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Only respectable thing. And go! want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? He didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know? Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. Stop dropping rolls! You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Whoa! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs>